Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today I'd like to show you some of the things I've been painting recently. It's a bit of an eclectic mix, and some of it has come up as a bit of a surprise to me. On the screen at the moment we have 16 Hittite spearmen. I've just finished these. Um, if you'd said to me a month ago you'll be painting Hittite spearmen, I would not have believed it. But um, there we are. When I got my chariot armies out the other day to do some photography of those, I remembered that one of the reasons I'd got them in the first place was because of an interest in the Battle of Kadesh. And I thought, well, perhaps, perhaps I could paint up some Hittites again. So I went out and I went to War Games Foundry and ordered two packs of these spearmen, as you can see, and I've painted them up as a bit of a test. Uh, I wanted to check out colour combinations on the clothing. One thing that's always struck me as a bit odd with biblical armies is how white people paint their clothes quite often and how bright some of the coloured uh, borders can be. Um, so I was trying that out. I also had a bit of trouble with the flesh tones. I got a foundry triad uh, and tried painting that but I really didn't like that at all. So what I've done here is a darker uh, Mediterranean tone with a brown wash. And that kind of gives me what I was looking for, I think. Um, now you can't have a Hittite army without chariots. And when I looked at the foundry chariots, they were very nice, but at £14 a time, they were a bit too expensive for me. So I had a look around, and uh, Warlord Games do some. And if you buy them through Wayland Games, they come to about £9.50 each. So I thought I might try these. I've had, I had some problems in the past with some of the old ancient ranges in the Warlord Games uh, catalogue. Um, so I was a bit suspicious. So I ordered one of the chariots and I've started to paint that one up. Um, here's the crew I've been working on. Uh, so these are the crew. Um, there's a warrior, a shield bearer, and the chariot driver. Um, one of the things that concerned me was how would they fit in with the, the foundry figures. Uh, and there is an element of concern about that. If you take these two figures, uh, there is a slight variance in bulk, there's no doubt about it, the foundry figures are heftier. Um, but height-wise, there's not much in it. So what I thought I'd do is I'd finish painting this uh, Warlord Games chariot up, and then when the model is completely finished, have a look at how it looked against these figures. Uh, so that's an ongoing bit of project at the moment. Now the other thing that uh, has recently happened is I took some photography of my Seven Years' War British. And one of the things that uh, I found or remembered when I was looking through for the British was I'd started a Seven Years' War French army and hadn't got very far with it. I'd painted something like 70, uh, seven battalions, but I hadn't based them. So I thought... Hmm. Perhaps I should base these up and see what they look like. So that's what I've done. I've I've taken three battalions. Uh, this one is the first battalion of the regiment du Roi, um, and I've based them. Uh, they look quite nice. Um, the other one, I've, the other battalions I've done were two battalions of the regiment of Champagne. Champagne. Um, both these regiments, Du Roi and Champagne, are four battalion regiments. Um, I think they're quite good, so I might continue with that. Whether I go beyond basing up the figures I've already got painted and paint some of the bare metal I've got is a different matter, but uh, I think they look good enough to continue with. And the last thing I've got at the moment looking at me on the painting table 
are these chaps. Um, these are Lanschnecks. I've been painting Lanschnecks for some time and uh, I've got something like 27 foundry Lanschnecks painted up and I've got something like 27, 28 war games, uh, warlord games, plastic Lanschnecks painted up. And I'm looking for units of 36, so I need nine more on each. And to be honest, uh, I've had to take a bit of a break from these. Um, it gets quite intense painting them, the colour combinations, the detail. Uh, it, uh, it's really a difficult thing to paint at times. Um, but I will have to come back to them. I've just got nine more to do for the foundry unit and maybe seven, eight for the uh, Warlord Games unit. Once they're done and based up, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't have an army for them. I just like the figures. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So that's what we've got at the moment.